Hello there, everybody. After a successful pilot episode, we are going to be going through with this series, the Quebec Nordiques franchise, Be a Pro, and I am hyped. Now, just to address a few things before we get started, the meters that I was talking about, the fan and the GM meter, are not going to be a part of this series. Sort of overkill, that was the consensus, and that's fine with me. I did make a few minor changes, such as moving players off the team if they were above 80 overall, and also I went and updated all of the created team arenas so that those are updated. And there was another comment about making my goalie a low elite player or high starter, I believe it was one of those two so that it kind of depends on my play if we get good or not. And I would normally agree with that. But the thing is, we're not going to be playing a whole lot of games. I'm going to do it similar to the be a pro where we kind of blast through the season and then play most of the playoffs if we get there. Well, not most of the playoffs, all of the playoffs. This first season is basically just a write off. There's no way we're going to have any success. I know that in the pilot episode, somehow we were winning games and holding our own, but I don't think that's going to be the case in the actual season. But hopefully we'll get a good draft pick and obviously free agency is going to be nuts because there's four teams with a lot of one-year deals and obviously there's still the other 32 teams currently in the NHL. Ah yes, my favorite part. I don't think we need NHL scouts and this guy's an A+. Come on. Well, I'm getting rid of you. No, wait, no, that's not what I wanted to do at all. An OHL scout. Two OHL scouts, and they're both A, so that's nice. I mean A minus, but still. I see one WHL scout, one QMJHL scout. So you know what? I think what I'm going to do is fire these two AHL scouts. Yep. And I will hire a WHL. Wait, no, there is two WHLs. We have Avery. Is there another? Oh, there is two QMJHLs as well. I'm clearly just not able to see anything right now. We have one out in Liga, one SHL, a US East. Do you have to do North and South or is it just East West? I don't recall seeing a Nordic Scout. So I'm gonna hire this guy, Ida Jokinen. This one I can confirm. We only have one Russia Scout. So I'll hire another one of those. And I will go after another USA Scout. Also what I'm gonna do is go to free agency because I wanna see if there's any players that are worth grabbing. Yup. There we go. There's a few players already. Why is Shane Pinto here? Oh, it's going to be an RFA. Yeah, 100%. Fill the Thrill Kessel. Are you kidding me? Get on my team. We have $18 million of cap space. Ethan Bear, is he actually just a UFA right now? Like, what is that? But you know what? I'm not restarting because of that. That would be way too much effort. So I'm going to try going after Bear here. It is what it is. And boom, offer contract. Hopefully he says yes. Jonathan Toes. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Taves could play with Razor Bowman on the first line and at least give him, you know, someone 80 plus to be with. I'm also going to go after Mason Shaw. I don't know why he's here, but nonetheless, you are getting a contract offered to you, young man. Medium top six potential. 24 though, and only 60 overall. Don't think that one's really going to pan out. Pool party. Yeah, maybe. You know what? I will give you a go. All right. Yesy Pugliarvi is not getting a $1 million contract. I'll tell you that for free. Now, before I simulate a couple days, we do have 50 of 50 contracts. So I got to try and get rid of some players here. And the only two with any value are Razor Bowman and Toogie. Oh my word. Why is Yager making $16 million? I guess it's to make up the cap, but that's insane. I really just got to hope that some teams are willing to help out here. They have contracts not signed and they're willing to take on these players for the year. Come on, I'm a new franchise. You got to do it for future considerations. Proposed trade. Or not. A sixth round pick? Not that, you know, it's really going to do anything. Trade rejected. Will they even do a seventh? Or are they totally just going to stiff arm us? Proposed trade. Wow. This may or may not actually end up being a much tougher first year than I was anticipating. Because I thought we'd be able to at least sign some players. We got 50 out of 50. Proposed trade. They're still not going to do it. We're going to have to like give something of value to make this go through. And I don't think that's worth it. Actually, you know what? Call me crazy. I think having Bear and Taves on the team is going to help out with Razor Bowman and Toogie. So I am going to try to get rid of a draft pick for this. I don't know what... Like a six, I'll go as high as five, but I'm not giving up a fourth. Okay, there we go. Making out like gangbusters. Just a second ago, for a very similar trade, you were telling me to kick rocks. I'm trying to remember how many players we attempted to sign because I freed up four spots there, but that might not be enough. Anyway, let's see who we get. So we get the scout. Great. Another scout. Come on, scouts. Let's go, Lee Hutton. We got Mason Shaw. 
Really, Dallas? You're going to steal Phil the Thrill from us? That is so disrespectful. Oh, dear. Jonathan Taves went to the Rangers. Ethan Bear went to Detroit. I didn't expect this. I thought that we were having these players locked up for sure. I guess I should have offered them more money. But again, I didn't think we were going to have an issue. So I just got rid of those players in a draft pick for what? Now the question is, is it worth going after Shane Pinto and giving up this year's third round pick? Again, we're going to be a stinker. But will a third round pick be medium top six? Already 82 overall and only... I don't think so. I'm going after him. And you know what? I'm going to give him a little bit extra. We're going to try to bring Shane Pinto to our squad. Yes. Come to Quebec. Okay. So Ottawa can still match it, which they probably will. They didn't match it. Given the small stake, you're required to supply one draft... What? It clearly said a third, not a second. That's insane. We still have our third, we just don't have our second. Incredible, what a scene. We could always trade for draft picks later, so I'm not too worried about it. Pinto, Shaw, and Pool Party all coming up, and in the NHL, we will just send down, like, the bottom three, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's all defensemen. So maybe we won't do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this, I suppose. Boom. Confirm. And we are good. Yeah, so this GM right here already making some rookie mistakes, and... You know, people already calling for his head, I'm assuming, but you got what you got. You guys wanted a franchise mode. Here we are. I told you I'm not good at it. We do be having a forward playing defense, which is not going to fly. Okay, so now we have all zeros here. That's not too bad. Offensively, we got a little bit of chemistry going on. We're still stinky, though. There's no question about it. We do have Brian Elliott here. I could bring him in to be our AHL starter or maybe Erickson Eck. Because 74 overall, 24 years of age, a medium backup. That's actually decent. Okay, well, let's officially get things started here. We have the Washington Capitals in our season opener. It's probably going to get ugly. Maybe not, though. We might be able to pull one out here in our debut for the regular season. All right, Washington, go easy on us. I'm going to get lit up by Ovi, aren't I? That just seems... Okay, or Kuznetsov. That as well. Yes, pool party! The new signing ties it up 1-1 in the first here. And that is two fairly quick goals on not a lot of shots. Power play for Quebec. And we cannot capitalize. It looks like it will be 1-1 after one. And I consider that a success. Second underway and Ruzika buries one on Charlie Lindgren. You love to see it. We're doing well right now, actually. Getting a lot of shots. And this team is performing way... Shane Pinto. There it is. Both of our newly signed players score in the opener. Maybe this GM ain't so bad after all. I think Shane Pinto was worth a second. Can't lie. Obey Kubel brings the caps within one, but we have a 3-2 lead heading into the third. Now that I think about it, I don't know if I ever finished my point where I saw the comment to make my goalie a low elite or high starter. Um, my main argument there is that I'm going to be simulating a lot. I probably did already say that, but for some reason I feel like I don't remember saying that. The GM stress is already getting to me, but you know what? I'm over it. I'm just going to do whatever it is that I do. Whatever I think is a good idea. That is not a good idea for Ovi to take a penalty when your team's down by one. Nice play, but a big save by Charlie Lindgren. Go, Razor! We want Razor Bowman to excel. We need that man to grow. Oh! The diving save attempt. That was dramatic. Let's go, Razor. Yep, split the D. Oh, he tried. He actually almost had it. He's speedy. Love to see it. We got Pool Party out there. Shane Pinto. This franchise is coming together already. Nice shot, Razor. Breakaway. What a goal by Shaw. Wow. All right. So we are off to quite the start here. And again, this is way better than I was expecting. Fire me up. Let's go, Quebec. So that means that Pinto, Shaw, and Pool Party have all scored in this game. It's looking up. Nice save. I do not expect this to be, you know, the way the whole season goes. But even though this is just our... Season opener. I'm very impressed with the boys right now. Ooh. Trying to go short side there, eh? I doubt it. 
I guess I gotta change my goalie's helmet. I thought I already did. Wait, what helmet is that? All right, Kuznetsov is in. Goes for a little toe drag release, but to no avail. It is blocked. And with 12 minutes left, Quebec now has a two-goal lead. And you know what? The way we're playing, I think we got this. A little early to say that, but I just feel that way. I think what I'm going to do for this first episode is we're going to play our season opener, and then we will play our home opener. That could be the next game. Yager! <laughs> or it could not. I guess we'll find out. And yeah, I'll probably just look at stats, stuff like that. Do some simulating of the season. Yager kind of looks sick. In a Nordiques jersey. I cannot fib to you right now. Even though this isn't the Nordiques jerseys. You know, this is my kind of spin on it. Another penalty for the Capitals. Undisciplinary actions right now. From this Washington team in their home opener. What are you doing? Also, really like what that camera was. Why can't I have that and be a pro? Alright, I have to remember after this game to go and change the helmet. Because right now it looks like it's just one of the default ones. But, you know... Obviously, I'm just going to put a white helmet on. Actually, you know what? Even though we did get rid of a second rounder, Shane Pinto is a good player, and he's going to be a good player. He has potential. So, I'm actually okay with that. That was close. The only thing I'm upset about, actually, is not getting Ethan Bear. But he shouldn't have even been there anyway. He should have been on the Capitals, so I'm just trying to justify it. But, yeah, that is the one thing so far. That took a minute, but it went in. It was Razor Bowman! Let's go, Razor! Yeah, take a bow. Take a bow. Woo! The boys are buzzing. Just gave the puck to the bench for his first ever NHL goal. Not an Ovi shot. Not an Ovi shot. Thank you, 43. I think that's who broke it up, and you are now a legend in my eyes. Final minute of play, and they send patches in on a breakaway. All right. Thankfully, we still have a two-goal lead, so got that cushion. Big fan. Should have had that shot all day. But you know what? I wasn't expecting it. I will be honest. Was not ready for the shot. Thought it was going to be some kind of deke. Thought maybe I'd be able to flank poke check. But neither of those things were true. And there you have it. The Quebec Nordiques win their season opener against the Washington Capitals. Maybe. Just maybe. Our season won't be as bad as I think. Yeah, there it is. Woo! First win for the franchise. And yeah, maybe that second round pick won't really mean too much anyway. Okay, there we go. That's more like it. It would be cool if I could customize my own helmet, but I understand why that's not a thing in the game. This game is at the Honda Center, so we are going to simulate it entirely. Simulate and... Yes, I'm okay with that. Is it going to do the... It is. Interesting. Well, first period is a 3-2 lead for Quebec. 13-12 for the shots. Wow, that would have been a great game to be at. Second period results in no goals. So it just really cooled off and we lost. Two goals from Strom buried the Nordiques, but they did have 40 shots. I honestly have no idea how to pronounce that. Colisse de Quebec. I put a valiant effort forward. But this is it, our home opener. We already have the season opener against the Caps and it went quite well. Let's see how the home opener can go against the team that just took us down in a devastating third period collapse. Come on, boys. So far, it looks like it's not gonna be nearly as eventful of a first period because there was five goals after the first in the last game and this time there is none. What a U-turn. It matches the second period of last game, though. Power play for Quebec, and we can't capitalize. That's not really, you know, too shocking. But we are getting power plays galore here. I don't know if our team's discipline is just through the roof or what's going on, but I feel like we never take penalties, but we are always on the power play. Are we really get Wow. Nil-nil. Heading into the third. We got a game on our hands. All right, the arena is all blued out. And the goalposts are back to being red. So I think it was a worthy change. I didn't really, you know, the pinky peach, whatever it was, wasn't horrible, but it did not match the team at all. Cam Fowler gets the puck in deep. Zegris loses it. And Shane Pinto headmans it to Razor Bowman. Stops up. Look how fast this guy is. Oh my goodness. He is going to be an absolute weapon. Nice try on the pass down low there. The attack is looking 
Mighty fine right now. Good pass. Get there, Razor. Love it. Yep. Sauce cross and what a save by Joe Nathan Gibson. That was outrageous. I thought Razor Bowman was about to have his second. Keep it up, lads. Keep it up. It is absolutely buzzing in this arena. They are happy to have a team back and can't say I blame them. Are you kidding me? I believe if I didn't touch this, it would have been wide. Yeah, it wasn't even going near the net. That is an absolute joke and a half. You can't be doing that. And I'm going to accept that push for offense and shorten the bench, whatever that was. The second one kind of just did it by itself. You know, you think it might reset, but nope. It just continues to take the input. So we are going for a push here. Little stick save. With that traffic in front of the net, I was slightly worried. That's huge. That is huge. We're headed to the peeper. And this could be our chance. Let me go. Nice try. I didn't get to the bench. Come on. Let me get to the bench. The mascot should not be there. What was that fan in the background doing? Oh, they're mocking him. Okay. Little glove save and a little throw out while I'm at it. Boys, do I have to say it? We are on the power play. So we should probably start acting like it. There we go. That could have been a two on one. I have no idea why two just gave up on that. What a play. Holy crap, that would have been a nasty goal. TSN highlight reel for sure. We're still going. Gibson is on one. He does not want to see Quebec win in their season opener. Oh, yes. Lovely. I guess Karel Vamelka is the only one. And also, I meant home opener, not season opener. I'm kind of just mixing the two up right now. Let's go, Yogs. Nice pass. And it will be blocked by maybe our own guy. Not a great shot there. All right, I am just going to call that out. You can do better. I hope anyway. Razor makes the pass. And another pass for a breakaway. But John Gibson is still all over it. And now Strom somehow gets sent. How does this happen then? Okay. All the way down the ice it goes. The Ducks did manage to kill off that penalty, which sucks. And they have another close chance there. Come on, guys. We got to get going here. Frankie, behind the net. Great breakup by 9-8. That was a guaranteed tap-in goal. Which also, I think the player went for overkill there. Looks like he went for a full-on one-knee clap bomb, basically in the paint, in the mixer, if you will. Troy Terry... Sends Quebec back to the power play. This could be our last chance. Just can't beat this guy. Exactly half the penalty remaining. And we've had a couple of decent chances, but nothing great yet. I mean, right off the draw there, we did have a little cross-ice pass for the one-timer. But John Gibson rejected us there as well. Is that not a penalty? Oh, I guess it went into the bench. Lame. Also, I don't know if I already addressed this. I could be a broken record here, but just to... Are you kidding me? Just to make sure it's out there, the goalie be a pro is staying. All right, you don't have to worry about that. I will be doing both. You're going to get a whole lot of goalie content coming up for the next little while here. So don't worry. Scott Sterling is going to remain in net on this channel. I really don't want us to lose this one nothing because the one goal that has been scored this game wasn't even gonna hit the net. So come on, don't do me dirty like that. Great poke. Someone get there. You guys do realize we're losing right now, correct? Ducks have it, Zegris. Just don't let him go for the Michigan, whatever you do. He has it again, behind the net. He's scaring me a little bit. Ooh, that was an up high shot that I was not ready for. Yes! Let's go, Tugi! You absolute legend, Captain Tugi buries one. And we are all tied up. Look at that, the Nordique sign. Love to see it. That is a massive goal. I didn't think he had it, but somehow it found its way into the back of the net. And that is Tugi's first career goal. Absolutely 
Beautiful. And what a clutch time to get it. You know what? That was very similar to my save. The stick flex and everything. Yeah, I think his was going in. You know, whereas the one I didn't save was going totally wide of the net. You love to see it. Some drama. In our first game in Quebec. Preseason doesn't count, by the way. No one cares about preseason. Was not ready for that shot either. Kind of came out of nowhere. But apparently Rit Man Dam was ready. Shane tried to go 5 pole, and it is played out by Gibson. The kahunas on this guy. All right, overtime, giving the fans a show. We've got Bowman, Pinto, and Tugi out there. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Nice pass. Skate, Tugi. Skate. I don't know how that ended up finding its way to Shane, but it did. Cam Fowler blazing down the ice, but Tugi easily pokes it off of him and makes a great play to Razor, who's gone. He is gone. Come on, Bowman. That could have been game. He had it on his stick, but John Gibson once again shuts us down. And now it is my turn. Now it's my turn. Get out of here. A big save on a breakaway of my own. They are still in the attack here, though. Yep. Nope. Don't think so. Kalorn wins the battle. If that comes out. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. Skate, Razor. Skate like the wind. You know what? I, I dig it. The five-hole attempt. That was smart. And I'm here for it. Oh no, oh no. Flying poke check! Get out of here, Kalorn! It looks like we are headed to a shootout. Actually, that is very bold of me to say, because they are right here. And, you know, I am 77 overall. I will once again be limiting myself to one flying poke check in the shootout, because otherwise it's just kind of ridiculous. But regular poke checks are fair play. All right, here we go. We got Zegris. What have you got for me? What have you got? Let's go. That's a huge first save. We got Razor. We do got Razor. Oh. Oh. Uh. I did not think I was going to have to play. I thought that position lock for goalie would mean position lock for goalie. So now I don't really know what to do. Terry is going to get rejected by Rip Man Dam. I don't know if there's a way to change this either. I might just have to do it. Let's do the... Oh, I was trying to do like the, you know, just keep holding it there, but I have not played as a player in a long time. So this is going to be a rough go. I apologize. Strom? You didn't have to do me that dirty. I was nowhere to be found. Oh my word. Remember that Patrick Kane goal where he just did all the stick handling and then ended up having the most open net of all time? That was that. All right, our last attempt, fake slap shot. I'm so bad. I'm literally so bad. All right, the result of our first regular season game in Quebec is a 2-1 loss in a shootout. Let's see how these other teams are doing. Portland, 0-2, so clearly not going so hot for them. What about Utah? They haven't lost yet. And we also have Atlanta that is 0-2, so they are having a rough start. I'm going to simulate until the end of November and just see where we're sitting then. Obviously, you know, this is a franchise be a pro. Big win over Portland, and we are 2-3-1, but we just got smashed by Smashville. Overtime win against the Buffalo Sabres. I was about to call them the Bills. There you go. It's going to be a weak draft class, so... Maybe that second round pick wouldn't have got us much anyway. So currently the Nordiques are 8, 16, and 3, which, yeah, that is more like it. That's kind of what I expected. We have 20 points from Shane Pinto in 27 games, which is decent. We are last in the division by a substantial margin. We are, however, first of the new franchises. Not really, because, well, actually, yeah, they have two games at hand, so I'd say that we're first. And then... The Pirates have 18 points. Thrashers have 15, but they have two games less. Razor Bowman also has 20 points. So that is going to be massive for him. 81 overall. Shaw has 14 points. Eight from Yager down here. Where's Tugi? He had that one clutch goal, but is he just... Wait, what? Oh, there he is. I see him. Okay, eight points. 
Okay. 29 penalty minutes, Toogie. What are you doing? Somehow, Ritt Mandam has managed a 900 save percentage with a 343 goals against average. Bimmy Mo for the Portland Pirates has 20 points in 27 games. Olin Burns has 16. How's their goaltender doing? They have Finn. And he has a 925 and a 296. What the heck? He's on fire. Utah's got Brick Wall with a record of 6-4-1. and one. He's also got a 3-22 GAA. Kind of splitting here with Metzola, but giving Yuha the benefit of the doubt. Valtteri Filpula, 22 points, but Mike Mailer has 21. And they should have another player here. Kyle Beeston, 13. What is with this 20? Why does everybody have 20? Cole Tactics, also at the 20 mark in 25 games. Buck Roshek has 18. And their goaltender, Clapperton. Yeah, has a 906, 337, but not a good record. Kucherov's leading the league right now with 46 points. And then we've got a trio of 44s with Will Nye, Matthews, and Pasta. Clayton Keller is going off for the Arizona Coyotes. And you know what? One more thing I will do before ending this video and likely getting roasted by you guys is check out the draft class. So we're expected to be in this range. Guaranteed medium elite in Sam Dickinson. I think we need some more... Sweden scouts here. Well, actually, Nyquist plays in Liga, and yeah, Sven plays in the SHL. It says they're both being scouted. Berkeley isn't, so that's not good. Being scouted. Do I have to, like, assign? Can I do that? Yeah, so I'm gonna take you off of Richie here, remove, and you're gonna start scouting this guy. Confirm. Actually, I have to do this as well? Come on. That's going to do it for the first video here in this series. Obviously, Quebec is not off to a hot start, but kind of to be expected. Same with the other four teams. We have a clear disadvantage coming in, but don't worry. That ship will turn around in no time. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And if there's anything that I should change, stuff like that, go ahead, let me know. And other than that, I appreciate you and I'll see you soon.